Hey guys, welcome back to Narwhal News. To new news with Narwhal. Title under construction. So if you haven't heard, Billy Mitchell, former world record holder for Donkey Kong Arcade, has just been banned and had his scores removed from Twin Galaxies. So Twin Galaxies is a high score repository for arcade games. It's where people would post their records in various arcade games. Uh, and even though Billy Mitchell's scores are not considered world records anymore, when he posted them, at least one of them was considered a world record in the past. So a while back, it came out that Billy Mitchell's scores, his record scores, appeared to be achieved on MAME. Uh, MAME is an emulator for arcade games. Basically, it lets you play on your computer rather than an actual arcade cabinet. Now, that being said, being able to play on your computer is not the only thing that MAME allows you to do. It also allows you to do things like frame advance to, uh, to slow down gameplay, to program gameplay, to record gameplay, to basically do all of these things that are, are considered tool assists that is not legitimate gameplay, and there's no way to decipher them from the real thing. So some very objective evidence came out that Billy Mitchell had used MAME, and even the people looking to defend him said they couldn't find a, a way to replicate an actual arcade cabinet looking like MAME. And so he just today had his scores removed from Twin Galaxies and got permanently banned there. Now, I personally think that this is great news. I think this is fantastic news. It was starting to really look like Twin Galaxies was more interested in defending the people who support them financially. Billy Mitchell has donated to Twin Galaxies in the past rather than pursuing equity and fairness in their high scores. Uh, in addition to that, I encourage you, if you have any, any sympathy for Billy Mitchell after this, if you think that this was an overreaction or that Billy Mitchell didn't deserve an outright permaban, and uh, Goose was just talking about this on his video, about whether a permaban was too far, I highly, highly encourage you, if you haven't seen it, go watch The King of Kong. If you've already seen it, but it's been a while, go rewatch it. You will be rejuvenated in your distaste for the man. I think some important things to remember are that when these scores came out, they were world records. He was taking scores away from other people. This even happened in the movie, The King of Kong. Steve Wiebe was finally getting recognition from the Donkey Kong community for his outstanding gameplay, and immediately Billy Mitchell submits a fake score to usurp the throne back. Steve Wiebe just scored 985,600 points which essentially is the officially recognized first place score on the website. So he's been announced as the world champion. Billy kind of steal the show when he's not even there. It's kind of the way they were kind of diffusing what I was going for. We have the first million point game of Donkey Kong. And the score, and the score reads zero, six zeros all the way across. Not even Helen of Troy had that much, much attention. <sighs> World Record Headquarters is going to help you. G given those circumstances, I, I have absolutely no sympathy for the man. He was salty that Steve Weeby was getting clout in the Donkey Kong community. And so to, to get back on top, he submitted a score that was not legit to take away from Steve Weeby. So, uh, yeah, I, I have no sympathy for him. I think, I think a permaban is extremely justified. What Billy Mitchell did was not playful cheating. It was not, you know, knocking the controller out of your friend's hand while you're stealing his coins with Boo and Mario Party. This was someone who spitefully stole a legitimate record from another person. Now, Steve Wiebe said something really, really appropriate in the movie that was in response to Billy sending in a tape, but it actually has an incredible application to now. I mean, I know to win is, like, so important. But to blatantly do things that are against the rules and know in your heart that you didn't do it correctly and get credit for it, is there any satisfaction there? I don't see, I don't see any. Just an extremely, extremely pertinent comment to what this ended up being. So Steve, I'm so sorry at the time you were dealt a crappy hand. Um, hopefully this brings some closure to you. Oh, and there was one more quote from the King of Kong that ended up being accidentally extremely relevant. What I mean is probably a good idea, like if I say hi to Todd. That sounds like a great idea, Billy Mitchell. Say hi to Todd. And that's it for this edition of Narwhal News with Narwhal. I'm your host, Lord Narwhal. Thank you for watching. Never give up. Always believe in yourself.